Dear residents of Hong Kong, how are you today? Thank you for attending today's rally. I met many of you when I walked around Hogan. But you don't walk alone! <laughs> but you don't walk alone! Very true, I don't walk alone. I have you around with me all the time. Whether it's young or old, from all races and religions, you have welcomed me with open arms. Since GE 2011, I have been in Hogan with you. I tried my best to do all the things that I said I will do. But I could not have done it without you. I thank all of you for walking this journey with me and giving me encouragement and support. Thank you. I'd like to share some of my <coughs> thoughts with you. Some of the, the most heartfelt thoughts that I've encountered, not only for the past 15 months, and especially so during the past nine days. First, some people have always asked me why I am with the BAP. Why you wear white? It is because the PAP believes in not just saying, but doing. We take concrete and real actions to serve and care for the residents. It is always easy to talk. But most importantly, at the end of the day, we must take action to make a difference. This is what the PAP stands for. Second, I've been asked this question I, I think many, many times when I go on my walk, Facebook messages, emails, why did I stay on after I lost last year? You, you speak my mind. I stay because I care and I want to serve you. understand you, your needs, and your concerns. And I have fought for concrete improvements, healthcare, transport concessions, tuition programs for your children, and upgraded toilets for the elderly, to create a better life for you, my residents of Hoka. <laughs> But I started work right after the last GE because there was work to be done. And to me, this is the only right thing to do. It is about a calling to serve. Yeah. None of us expected that there be a by-election in Hong Kong. When I came here 15 months ago, I was a stranger to many of you. And many of you understand today. Over time, we became friends. And now, we are family. Third, 
how do I feel about Ho Gang now? In the past few days, I've met many people. Some are looking to change the status quo in Ho Gang. After 20 years of the Workers' Party, they feel that the time for change in Ho Gang has come. There are also people who feel uncomfortable with change. Good morning! I understand your feelings. I know it is hard for some of you to take this step and vote for me after so many years. I want you to know, and it's important that I let you know, that I have only the greatest and deepest respect for Ho Gang's history and for the spirit in Ho Gang. I was very young when Ho Gang first became an opposition ward. I didn't understand what it meant at the time. But now, the desperate stand, standing before you today have learned and understand why Ho Gang residents stood up for what you feel is right. And Ho Gang has gone through much over the years. And over the past few months, you went through it because you stood by your values and principles. That's something precious and that's something priceless which no one can ever take away from you. and honour what you have been through. We can forge that new future for Hong Kong together. Yes. Together we shall! I have and will continue to listen to what you have to say. I will defend your interests and make sure that the government hears you. I will speak up to get the government to take action this is my promise to Hoka. One year ago, one year ago, you gave the chance to the Workers' Party to serve you. Today, I ask for the very same chance for me to humbly serve you. In this by-election, every one of you has the opportunity to exercise your free choice, to choose the one that best serves you and your family. Because that is what this by-election is about. It's not about the Workers' Party. It is not even about the PAP. It is about you. It is about you making a good choice for yourself, your families, and your community. It's about you choosing the candidate that you can trust. It's about you deciding on the future for your children and your grandchildren. When you vote on Saturday, when you vote on Saturday, remember that Ho Gang belongs to you, the Ho Gang residents. No matter what the other side might say, they do not own Ho Gang and his people. Ho Gang doesn't belong to the Workers' Party. Ho Gang belongs to you. Why this by-election is 
situation is so critical. Important. We are the crossroads today. You lead the way. Continue with the status quo in Kota or make a change now. Yeah. get four more years of the same thing. And if I may say, four years of the same thing is four years too long. There is, there is another way, another path forward. It involves change. We want change! We want change! Requires courage. It calls for your conviction to step forward, to write a new chapter, to chart a new direction for the whole gang with all love. and begin the journey as one people. As one people. As one people. I have shared my vision and my plans for Hoka and I will see it through. I will need your mandate so that we can work together for a stronger and better Hokam. A Hokam that we can all call home, a Hokam that will be proud to pass on to our next generation. My brothers and sisters, my friends, our residents of Hoka, on Saturday, as you go to the polls, I humbly ask you to let me serve you and your family, give me your support. This is the time to make a difference.